are trying to avoid another government shutdown. We spoke with Congressman Al Lawson today. He says that he's working hard for compromise and believes that the president lives up to his reputation, then something good will happen before the country closes again in another week. Well, I wish I would bring you great news about what is the state of the situation that exists here in, uh, up in Washington, D.C. U.S. Representative Al Lawson was in Jacksonville for an announcement at City Hall, standing alongside the Secretary of Transportation. When Lawson gets back to Washington, it'll be crunch time once again and negotiating a budget deal. Well, it's all about the wall, and, uh, and so people don't even like to call it a wall. You know, it's, uh, they might say fencing or something like that. You know, it's $5 billion. You know, 5.2 or 3 billion that the president really wants. Lawson says his constituents want to make sure the government stays open and that border security is addressed. He believes that's a common goal in Congress at this point. Democrats and everybody would tell the president concerned about border security. Uh, we might have a different philosophy, uh, but the president is supposed to be a person that. Uh, is a deal maker. And you know, in making deals, you have to give some and take some. Representative Lawson says he didn't take a paycheck during the shutdown, doesn't believe members of Congress should when the government is closed, and says he's committed to keeping that from happening again if he can help it. Uh, when I go to TSA that pulls me over and asks me and say, we don't care about the wall. You know, we just don't want our paycheck cut off again. You know, and so that's what become very important. And the more the negotiations take place, uh, maybe we got a good chance uh, uh, for next Friday as a saying that we worked everything out. You know, one of the lead Democrat negotiators said today that they're close to avoiding another shutdown and confirmed that a final compromise would include funding for border barriers. How much funding, how much money, that remains a sticking point.